Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a candle review. It's actually my very first Halloween type candle review for 2016. I'll go really fast. I'll be making a few videos. Makeup, lips, nails are the same. Lips is Smashbox. Um, Everlasting liquid lipstick in stepping out. That's what I have on my lips. I'm undecided. It makes my lips look like poop, but whatever. <laughs> I don't think I like that. Uh, but on my nails, on the sparkly part of my nails, I have extreme Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear Nail Color in number 140, which is Rockstar, Rockstar Pink. I think I said punk last time, but it's Rockstar Pink. And then on most of these nails here, I have Essie's Smokin' Hot, which is a really cool deep purple gray. And then this one's actually a really deep purple. You'd think it looks black, and that's what's on most of my nails here. And that is Devil's, Devil's Advocate from Essie as well. So there you go. With that along, aside, let's move on to the candle review. Mm. Okay, I was so elated. I went to HomeSense in Canada found a crap ton of Halloween stuff. In fact, I posted it on my Instagram. Um, so it's Canada Kim 1978, Canada spelt with a K, and I posted it and I was just, I was so happy to have found this and an, another DW Home two wick candle. So this is again a DW Home two wick candle in Wizard's Magic. Look how awesomely purple that is. I got this one and the candy corn one. And I'm just double checking. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't find the scent description online at all for this, but I did see that a lot of the things, obviously, that I picked up that were DW Home, which you'll see on my Instagram and in future videos, um, are from the 2015 fall, like, hiccup, fall Halloween collection. So, um, interesting. I picked mine up for $12.99. Probably in the States, you probably pay $9.99, I think. Anyway, what an amazing color. I was so into Halloween that day. I didn't care, like, well, I didn't care what it smelled like, but they only had one of these, um, one of this particular kind. It has a little witch's hat on it too. It's so cool. And it does say that it's got 56 hour burn time, way more. I really feel like how I've gotten way more out of burn time. I've been burning this for like a week and a half and it's down to here. Yeah, it's really good. So I don't have a scent description from online, but I will say that this one definitely smells like grape Kool-Aid or some sort of cooler I had in college of which I had too much of on a few occasions. And um, that's really sweet and full of sugar. Um, I think vodka based. <laughs> but anyway, it smell, doesn't smell like vodka. It doesn't smell like booze or anything like that, but it's got that grape Kool-Aid. Now it's sickeningly sweet grape scent although this isn't this is like a between a, a purple and a pink and a i don't know it's like an amazing color i i really love the color of this jar now i did have some issues with the burn is great right now um it's i've just had some issues near the beginning actually it started tunneling really quickly at the top but i didn't didn't give up hope i did not foil it i was just like no i want to if i'm going to give you guys a review i want to be able to just burn this sucker and see how it does on its own so um, I did that and it there was a chunk up in this area like up and along the very front here that just would not melt and slide down even though the candle was going down and down and down and finally in the last few burns it did that so it did it all on its own there's just a little bit up there as you can see there's sort of a little bit of shadow there you go there's a little bit there um, but otherwise it's not bad at all the burn has been really decent I really liked it when I first picked it up at the store. Um, I give it an eight. It's pretty sweet, like not bakery sweet, but like sweet, like great Kool-Aid. Um, scent appeal while burning. This was actually really strong, I will say, but scent appeal while burning, I would still give it an eight. I, I liked it. I definitely, it announced, it announced its presence, basically, um, this was wizard's magic. So really liked it and in fact when it comes to the throw of this thing actually i had two summer boardwalks not one but two in this room and i have this in my bedroom and then i moved i just want to move it around my bedroom the um bathroom i could smell this from like way down there with two summer boardwalks going on in this place so kudos to that i will give it that much for sure um would i recommend it if you guys like grape scented like a candy grape 
artificial grape, let's be honest, then I would say absolutely go grab yourself some. If you're into Halloween, grab it too. Um, I was, like I said, I went nuts with Halloween at uh, HomeSense in Canada here. And I imagine you can get TJ Maxx Marshall's um, home goods in the States. Um, so I, I would say pick it up if you like Halloween, if you like candles, or if you love real sickeningly sweet art artificial fruity scents. But I really liked it and I didn't have a problem at all with my burn after the first few burns. So I'd say I gave it a couple burns there. I was like, oh my God, but it fixed itself. So I'm happy with it. So you guys, that is my review of DW Holmes to a candle in Wizard's Magic. And the burn time on this thing was re is still really good. I'd almost put it, to, I'm at 56 hours right now and I still have that far to go. So yeah, anyway, I'm really excited, you guys, and I hope you're able to find some in your discount stores. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have fun.